Hello everybody, uh, this is Coding Made Easy coming to you with another video. Uh, so now this is really, really good news for um, everybody. I got a laptop. <clears throat> I purchased one on Saturday, but uh, I wasn't able to make a video due to studying and setting up stuff and trying to get back my screen recorder and, and everything, right? So uh, I've gotten almost everything set up. I've tried... Uh, I've, tr I've been trying to set up SFML on my compiler again, just like I did on my old laptop, but uh, on the Visual Studio 2012, but for some reason this time around it just won't work, and I've been trying to search around for the video that I followed to get it to, um, to work properly, but I can't find that video for the life of me, so I'm going to have to keep trying, and as soon as I get that set up, then I'll make a tutorial on how to set it up properly. Uh, so let me zoom in here. Uh, so I made a post, a topic on my website, uh, called uh, Platform Tutorial Source Code. Um, sorry for the person, uh, there was a person that commented on one of my videos on my on one of my tutorials that would that was basically saying that he would send me uh, the source code that he has for the platform tutorial since I lost all the data from that because. Uh, I didn't get to back up my files on my laptop, right? Um, sorry that I never got to give credit to you because I forget the name. Uh, let's see if I could search for this. But anyways, while I'm searching for this right now, uh, basically, yeah, I got it from Fur Fur Mortis. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, but he gave me the idea of, of that he would give me his source code so then I wouldn't have to retype it all over again, right? Uh, so thank you for that idea. So I made this post on here asking for people to send me the platform tutorial source code. So I already got the XNA one. Uh, thank you to CU uh, for uh, posting the Allegro 5 one. Now, he doesn't have er everything. He didn't do the menu manager or the file manager. So if anybody has it with the menu manager and the file manager, then can you please send that? But if you don't, uh, if you don't have that, then that's fine. Um, I'll just add that in. It's just um, two more things that I gotta do. But if you have that, then please send it. And if anybody's been watching my SFML tutorials and been following it up, up until the last tutorial that I posted, uh, please post your source code in there, even if it's a bit altered. Uh, still post it. Just tell me the the areas which you altered so I can change it back to the original version uh, So people in the tutorial series don't get uh, a bit confused, but uh, Yeah, that's that's it for that. Uh, so just letting you know uh, I have exams this week, so um, probably no Really tutorials this week. Well on Thursday is my last exam during the day so there might be a tutorial during the night, but I'm really trying to play some basketball in the night because uh, I've been injured for a while and I haven't been able to really play basketball um, that much. So I'm fully recovered now, so I'm probably going to play a bit on Thursday. Uh, but definitely Friday, uh, you'll see some tutorials coming. I promise you guys on Friday there will be tutorials coming and uh, there will be platformer tutorials coming definitely because I have been really slack on those and people are asking me for those uh lastly about the 3d tutorials or versus rpg most people look like they're voting for 3d tutorials now a lot of people are like why not just use a game engine uh, why not use like unity why not use uh ogre 3d why not use panda 3d why not use era lich i think that's what it's called or or something or something like that right why not use a game engine why use open or direct uh, x First of all, if I do Ogre 3D or something like that, then somebody that wants to use Panda 3D or Unity 3D is going to uh, want me to make a tutorial series for them and so on and so forth. And I will be trying to cover all of them, right? But I'm, what I'm trying to say now is that's a lot to cover and that could take possibly years to cover all those yeah, it would take years to cover all those 3D game programming libraries, game development libraries. So my plan uh, was to uh, 
my plan my initial plan was to just uh instead of doing that i would just uh teach you either OpenGL or direct x uh see if you see those something like ogre and stuff like that is built on top of OpenGL to wrapper for it right so it handles all of the the tough stuff for you i guess you can say and it lets you do the high level stuff uh, but it's better if you learn the low level stuff, the actual um, how OpenGL works or DirectX works. Because once you use the game engines, then you know the underlying reason on why stuff works. And therefore, it will be easier to learn the game engines um, uh, after. That rather than learning them directly, if you learn the underlying reason on why, on what happens or why it does what it does, then learning the game engine itself should be a piece of cake right so um i will be just teaching OpenGL or direct uh 3d or direct x uh so the game engines will come later if you guys really demand it but after i guarantee after you learn OpenGL or direct x then you will uh be able to adapt to a game engine much easier than just jumping or diving into it uh so anyways uh i guess that's it for this video wish me luck uh, on my exams for the rest of the week I got two tomorrow I got one on Wednesday one on Thursday and then tutorials will be coming uh, during the weekend so anyways that is it for this update hope I didn't miss anything but if I do I'll just make a quick video on what I missed uh, so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this and bye